Now that we have our connections made, let's learn how to use the mic preamp page in the Anubis. So to access the microphones, let's hold down the home button. And now we can see we've got settings and mic pre. So we'll click on mic pre. So we can see we've got a combo one and two left and right, which operate as two independent channels unless you click the link button and then they'll work together. So let's go ahead and plug a microphone in. We'll get a condenser mic in here. And with our condenser mic plugged in, we're not hearing anything, but we can turn on the phantom power and you'll see its initial inrush current and charging. And now we can click on that and control its gain. Check, check, one, two. Check, one, two. Now, if we wanted to operate these together, we can click the link button. And then we can control the gain of the two microphones simultaneously, and we can offset them if we wanted to. But since we're not going to be doing that, we'll just click here and run that back down. We can also see we can switch between mic and line. We'll stay with microphone for now. And let's run this gain back up. About 25 decibels. That's looking good to me. And we can pop over to Pro Tools and Arm Track 1 and confirm that yes, we are getting signal and I can run the gain down and we can see that reflected there. So we're passing signal like we should. So some other features we have here, we have polarity inversion. We have an 80 Hertz high pass filter and we can also boost pad or have no effect on our gain, which we'll leave it at none right now. We'll clear this clip indicator. So let's say that you're doing a take for maybe a podcast or something and you know you're going to cough. You can click that button and mute the microphone and click it again to bring it back. This works when the channels are linked as well. So if we'd like, we can use some advanced functions of the Anubis and incorporate some GPIO behaviors. I have here a standard sustain pedal terminated in quarter inch TS, and we can use that to trigger the cut function on microphone number one. So I have the sustain pedal plugged into the general purpose input port on the back of the Anubis. Then we'll have to get the software end set up. So we can hold the home button, click on settings, and we'll scroll down until we see triggers. Once we click triggers, we'll need to verify the GPIO MIDI connector mode is set to GPIO, which it isn't, so we'll go ahead and change it here. And now that it's set to GPIO, we can see that we have general purpose input and general purpose output as options. So we'll click on input, and then we're gonna say we wanna create a new action. So what we want is when we step on our pedal, we want our preamp one to cut, and we're gonna have that action toggle. So if we go back to preamps, you can see when I step on the pedal, it mutes the mic pre, and if I step on it again, it unmutes the mic pre. Now that's pretty good, but let's say that I just want it to momentarily mute, and when I release, have that work. We'll hold on the home button again, go back into settings, and we can scroll down to our triggers. Then we'll go into the general purpose input, and we'll select the same behavior, but we're gonna change our input signal type to state inverted. Whether you use state or state inverted has to do with whether your switch is normally open or normally closed, and you can experiment to find out which one's right for you. I know this one works with state inverted, so we'll choose that. And then we'll go back to mic preamp, and now when I'm holding it down, it's muted, and when I release it, it's unmuted. And I can show you that again here. And one other quick note while we're here. Let's say we've got a microphone here and we've got our gain ran up, we can lock the channel so that no changes can be made to it. So now, if I want to mute it, it doesn't work, but I also can't accidentally change the gain, which is fantastic. Now, to access channels 3 and 4, you just swipe over to the right, and now we can see jack 3 and jack 4. We can swipe over once more, and we can see the talkback. So, if we want to use the talkback, we can press the talkback button and you see the talkback icon shows up. But maybe I'm a little bit too far away for this sensitivity, so let's go ahead and change the gain on this. Talk, talk, talk. Talking, talking, talking. Testing talkback microphone level. And we can get it set for whatever distance is comfortable for us and to where our talent or whoever needs to hear us can hear us. Once we're done setting our preamps to the level that we need, we can simply hit the home button to return to the monitor page. So that should be all you need to know for the microphone page to get started.
An important thing to remember about the Anubis is it only has two microphone preamps, and those are located on input jacks one and two. Jacks three and four are line amps, so you can be creative in however you want to use them. I like to use it for a mastering hardware loop, especially since the premium version of the Anubis has DSD and DXD functionality. Really the only difference between the standard and the premium version, so that should help you make the decision about which one's right for you.